everybody, welcome back to Michelle Pearson. Hope you're having a fabulous Saturday. I asked you guys on my Facebook page if you guys wanted to see a favorites video or kind of like a more advice video, and most of you guys said a favorites video. So I haven't done one of these for a long time because I have not been trying out a ton of new products as of late because you guys know I've been really, really sick, but I'm starting to feel so much better. So I have a ton of favorites that have accumulated over the last few months, and 99% of them are mommy favorites. Also, if you guys are brand new to my channel, welcome. I know a lot of you guys have joined ever since I have announced my pregnancy journey with twins. So welcome, welcome. I upload videos every Tuesday and Saturday here on my channel. And I also do a lot of uh, bonus videos in between. So a lot of you guys asked me in my last video as well if I had colored my hair and yes, I have. I did like a balayage kind of thing happening. I really like what the girl did. She did like some caramel colors and I haven't colored my hair in almost 11 years and I just needed something new. I didn't want to chop my hair because I don't like my hair short. It makes my face look really round, so I liked just adding some color. Okay, without any further ado, let's get started. The first item is actually an item for my kids, and it is by a brand that I have fallen in love with, and it is by the Everyone brand, and this is the Everyone soap for every kid. It's for head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and it is the Tropical Coconut Twist scent. I may or may not have talked about this before in an earlier video, but I have really, really loved this brand. I use a lot of their hand soaps, their bubble baths, you can tell the, it's like right here. I've been using it for my kids. I love that it's in this huge container, but it has a pump. Do you know how nice that is when I'm giving my kids a bath and I can just pump it out instead of like taking it and squirting it on their heads? Anyway, this can be used for shampoo and a body wash. And the thing I like about this is it's pure, natural, non GMO bubbles for gentle cleaning, head to toe, it's safe and natural, cruelty free no synthetic fragrances. I just like this a lot for my kids and it smells really, really yummy and coconutty. So that's a great item. The next item is a face wash that I have recently used. As you guys know, when you get pregnant, your skin just acts kind of weird and it depends on your hormones and all of that. My skin has definitely been a lot more dry, but I feel like I can't get my skin clean enough, if that even makes sense. I usually use another item that I'll talk about in a second first, but then I went back to this stuff a few months ago. I was using it and it was too harsh on my skin, but now it like works really well, so I kept it. And there's not a ton being used, but I've brought it back in the last few weeks here. This is the Aveda Botanical Kinetics Purifying Cream Cleanser. And I don't use this to necessarily like remove my makeup. I always remove my makeup with my cellar water and then I wash it like this, but I love the scent of this. I love Aveda products and it just works really well. My face is really liking it right now. My skin is so. It's a good product. Okay, the other product that I wanted to talk about, I've talked about this a million times on my channel because I really use it every single day. I don't know what I did before this product because I don't like facial wipes anymore to like take off my makeup for the day. I don't feel like it does a great job. Boom. This is what I have been using. This is like my second or third bottle because I've been using it all year whenever they first came out. This is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And I like this one, it's for sensitive types, but this has no oil alcohol or fragrance and oh my gosh. So I've been loving this. Basically I just shake it up and then I pour it on a huge cotton oval shaped pad and I wipe all of my makeup off. It takes off my mascara, my eyebrows, everything. And I just really love it. Just cleans my face and then I wash it with that cleanser. And some nights when I'm way too tired to wash my face, I will just take the pad and wipe my face. But Oh my gosh, this stuff is amazing. And I recently, my friend is going to New York and I got her like a little travel pack and I got her a cute little mini one of these. They have a travel size, so those have been really, really great. As far as hair products go, I have really, really loved Pureology for the last few years. My hair just really was responded well to it. And when I got my hair cut recently, the girl used this product on my hair and I really loved it. It's the Pureology Color Fanatic Multitasking Hair Beautifier. This stuff, you spray it when your hair is wet and it says it has 21 benefits. It's one of those uh, products that has a ton of benefits. So it says that it protects, it primes, it protects, perfects, adds shine, shields against damage, prevents split ends, smooths out hair, just does tons of that kind of stuff. I really, really love this and my hair really does feel silkier and softer and looks prettier once I style it. So been loving that. My friend actually is also an esthetician, so she has a license and she got me these for discounted price at the beauty store which these have been my favorite hair products for a really long time now, but they're so, so expensive normally. But this one I use as the shampoo and this is the hydrate one. I love the way this smells, but it makes my hair just feel so soft. And you guys don't have really, really thick hair. It just really takes care of my hair. And I hate when I buy a shampoo and then I get out of the shower and it doesn't smell really good. It doesn't feel smooth. It kind of feels gritty still. Don't like that. 
Uh, and then I've paired it with this. This is the Condition uh, Smooth Perfection. And this is the conditioner. So I use these together and my hair is just super happy. And bonus, it's for color treated hair now that my hair is actually color treated. I was actually using it forever before without my hair being color treated and I still loved it. So it's a great product. Okay, the next item, when I went to New York about six months ago, I went into a store called And Other Stories. I've heard a lot of like Londoners and different people talk about this brand. And so when I saw it on Fifth Avenue, I believe, I had to go in and I found these and I came home and I bought them and I even bought them for my friend for a gift because I thought they were so great. But this is their hand soap and their hand lotion and this is the Mediterranean scented one. <sighs> it says it's subtle flowers exploding into a fruity delight. That's like the scent. But mm, love this scent. Really, really soft and floral but kind of sweet and fruity at the same time. This is what I have in my bathroom. I also have it in my guest bathroom and then every night before bed I have this on my nightstand and I put this on my hands just because the smell is really, really clean and it makes me really, really happy. So these are, this is $11 for the lotion and this is $8 for that in the last really long time. A couple of makeup items that I have been using. I bought this a few months ago and it's a $10 pigment from MAC. It was $10 and I've been using it every single day and I haven't even cracked this like, you can't even tell, but it's called Tan and it's like a copper rose gold pigment and it's really nice and shimmery. It looks really, really beautiful on the lid. I'm wearing it today like all over my lid. I always just wear it on my lid with like a nice matte color in the crease. Just really simple out the door. Just kind of give my eyes that like brighter look for the day and I feel it works really well in the fall time. And this is an eyeshadow that I've been using for a long time as well and it's perfect for fall and it's Max Antiqued. I just feel like I have so many different eyeshadow palettes and I just end up always going back to MAC. So this is like a coppery, look how beautiful that is, kind of burgundy color. Nice, what kind of texture is this one? Yes, it's a Velux Pearl. So it kind of has that shimmer, but I like to wear this in my crease, but it's just a beautiful cranberry, kind of coppery color. It's kind of one of those MAC classics. Okay, one more beauty item. This is my favorite perfume of all time. If you ask my friends, what does Michelle smell like? They will tell you Michelle smells like Chloe. <laughs> this is my favorite scent of all time for a lot of reasons. It's really kind of, how do you explain? It's not musky, it's lighter, but then it kind of does have some heavier notes that make it warmer, but it's not sweet. And it reminds me a lot of my sister and she wore this all the time, so I think that's why I like it too. But it's just a really beautiful, beautiful scent, really classy scent. I will put it on in the morning and I will smell like it all day. I love perfumes that linger all day long. And I actually found this at Costco for $50. And so I found it last year and then I found it again this year because I'm already out of it from last year. So beautiful, beautiful fall scent. Nice date night scent, but also I wear it like every single day. <laughs> okay. Next item is a candle, and it's actually burning right here, but it is a candle from Target. They have such a great line of candles. They've been killing it this year. Their summer ones were like my favorite. Their fall ones are just as amazing, and the one that I'm burning right now in my office is called Maple Pumpkin Souffle, and it smells so good. It's nice and has a nice maple pumpkin scent without being way too sweet. I feel like sometimes the Bath and Body Works ones, which I love them, but some of them are too sweet, and you know when you're pregnant, everything is like magnified. I don't want to have these crazy, crazy sweet scents. So that's what's burning right now. I'll have like a cutaway shot so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, as far as shoes, I don't know why, but it's been so hard for me to find shoes for Molly as of late. And I finally, finally found a pair that fit her. These are a pair of Vans shoes for her. And they are Velcro right here, which is super crucial. I don't want to put shoes that have laces on them because once I know the baby's coming and everything, ugh. It's not gonna happen. Anyway, I thought these were adorable. So, hope she can wear these out, wear them like every day. They're kind of like Mary Jane's esque, but they're ants. So, I thought those were cute. And to go along with that, I have been wearing these all the time. And these are like $5 from Forever 21. And they're like wannabe kids. But you know how you are when you're pregnant, you just like don't really care as much <laughs> what you're wearing. That's how I've been feeling. I just wear these every single day. And I don't need socks because my feet never sweat, they don't stink or anything. But just kind of a random thing. Okay, and last but not least, let me grab it. This is the coolest thing ever. I saw this book a few months back in Target and I was like, I need to get this because I want to share the Harry Potter world with my little boys. And this is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, so the first one, but it is illustrated. Isn't that so cool? It's an illustrated Harry Potter. And every single night 
either Brad or I read this to the boys and they're actually almost done. They're getting towards the end here. But it's just such a great way to read to the kids that are maybe a little bit younger and they can't handle the huge thick book. But then we're excited to watch the movie with them at some point too. So that has been really fun. So that is it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, if you guys are brand new, subscribe down below and welcome once again. Next week's kind of a big week. I will be vlogging. I'm getting my eyebrows microbladed. And then the next week is when I do my gender reveal. So we have a couple of exciting weeks coming ahead. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.